Hey everyone, The Lighting Collector here, and today we have a Westinghouse 80 watt mercury vapor lamp. So I mentioned this in the video of this fixture right here that I was waiting on the shipment for this, and it actually arrived the day after I uploaded that video. So I'm not sure exactly when this was made. Doesn't seem to have... Maybe it does. Oh, yeah, okay. So the box trademark is 2003, so that doesn't really actually tell me if this lamp was made then, because this box, this is the same pretty much box that they use today um, for their HID lighting stuff, so including mercury. So actually I'm not sure how old this is, but I would guess it's probably mid-2000s because they replaced the 80 watt with a 75 watt offering which actually at the time they did not make here's what they made at the time whenever this was made 50 80 100 175 250 and 400 the angelo brothers westinghouse has not made a thousand watt i guess for a little while now unfortunately so but that's okay because other people make them so anyway we'll go ahead and unbox this this is an e I don't know. I guess it's the size, maybe? E22? It's probably just an ED22 shape or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, this is actually going to fit in this light fixture, so I can test it. This is the exact shape and length that fits in here. See? So, unfortunately, I don't have a way to test the uh, eye mercury vapor lamp without removing this ballast assembly which I can do just fine there's lots of bugs behind there though so I'm gonna have to do that over a uh, well, actually let me see show you this first so there is the etch and it looks to be a fairly high quality electrode and everything which is nice people some people say that these bulbs are bad but I disagree Angelo Brothers Westinghouse obviously is nowhere near lifeguard territory in terms of quality but it still is very much up there with all the other big dogs that still make good mercury lamps um, and they still offer 24,000 hours on their other lamps. I guess 80 watt mercury from any brand really doesn't last as long. Supposedly, according to this box, 16,000 hours. However, this 100 watt lamp is still 24,000. And today, the ones they sell are also 24,000 hours. So, I don't know. Regardless, let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. This is the first time I'm screwing this into the socket. Nice view of the bulb there. And again, the camera is doing this very strange thing where it's kind of a grayish green color, but in person it's actually a pinkish white and the phosphor coating is actually kind of thin you can see the arc tube actually better in person but you can kind of see it there so it's kind of neat so yeah 80 watt mercury for arc tubes are kind of small <laughs> you can imagine So, pretty much for the United States and Canada, well, I don't know about Canada, but for the United States, we pretty much have to rely on European market bulbs for 80 watt fixtures, if, which this one was the only one that actually was really sold, as I mentioned. An 80 watt, however, or 80 watts, whatever. However, apparently it's actually just a 100 watt ballast, I guess, with a lower cap value or something. But... As you can see, this fires up, this warms up a lot quicker on this ballast than that 100 watt lamp does. Check that out. 
That only took a few minutes. It's already at pretty much full brightness. So that's neat. Anyway, uh, that is pretty much it. So yeah, that's my Westinghouse 80 watt mercury vapor light bulb in deluxe white because that's actually the only version I could find at all of any brand. I wanted to buy this Westinghouse one because I've never, I didn't know that they actually made 80 watt mercury with the Angelo brothers part of Westinghouse, you know, where they sold their lighting division. And I don't even know if they made 80 watt mercury back when they were just, you know, actually making their own stuff. Because, you know, there wasn't a demand for it here. It wasn't a wattage we really had. And in Europe, they call this 80 watt MBF-U, which is so strange. The F is like a fluorescent phosphor coating, which is, for us, deluxe white, or slash C if it's color corrected, the early type, which Westinghouse invented, by the way. Um, as they innovated many things and uh, you know all that other stuff so it's just strange the differences we've never we just call it MV and then or mercury vapor and they call it high pressure mercury there because I guess low pressure mercury in the actual technical sense is a fluorescent lamp like a tubular fluorescent lamp circline PL compact fluorescent spiral all that kind of stuff so yes, these are high pressure mercury lamps, but we don't call it that here. Anyway, that's a little talking session there, sorry. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoyed.